Good morning, Mike and Arlen, our Philippine journey. Thanks so much for dropping by. Hey, it's 4 o'clock in the morning here. Um, I've already done email. I've already done comments. I've already done my only U.S.-based work. I've already spoken with my daughter. And then I looked at my YouTube feed finally. And I get amazed at the consistently same questions that people ask in the comments of certain topics. So let's talk about that for just a minute. All right, as I said, I've already done everything that I need to get done for my entire day today, um, other than whatever list Arlen puts up that I have to accomplish. With that being said, I'm going to answer a couple of questions that we always seem to be amazed at. We seem to be amazed at, can I live at this budget level? That's the biggest question that amazes me. You are an individual. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to men who are thinking of coming to the Philippines or considering making the Philippines a retirement destination. You get all of these unicorn and rainbow bloggers talking about the dollar spends better here, it's worth more than it's, in fact, it is worth more than it's been worth in a, uh, ever, actually, or a very, very long time. Let me see what's the dollar real quick here. 57.55. It's a great rate. It's an incredible rate. Okay, I can remember the days when we were getting 48 and 49 pesos to the dollar. So that's great. But I digress. You know something? You need to take some responsibility in figuring out whether the Philippines is for you or not. And you need to quit listening to people who are blowing rainbows and unicorns right up your rectum. You need to quit just identifying individually with each one of those people. We saw a video um, a couple days ago. A one-bedroom apartment for rent at a reasonable price. And we looked at it, this video, not, uh, because I had a feeling I knew where it was. And I was correct. I know exactly where this is. And it's a nice apartment. It really is. Um, but they didn't show the rest of the story. Okay? Um, they didn't show you that across the street from this apartment is a guy that literally raises roosters. They didn't show you that beside this apartment is a vacant lot that has become the barangay trash can, which is not uncommon here. They show you a lot of things. And you won't know that until you come and physically look at it. Now, before I go, hey, look, if you appreciate the information that we put out there, if you appreciate the time and effort we put into the channel, please do subscribe and hit the thumbs up. Now, Arlen and I, we try and be reasonable about the information that we put out there. But one of the things that happens, and this happens all of the time, is the information changes. There are some things that you have got to see for yourself. Now, I make, um, when somebody asks us, can I retire in the Philippines on X dollars? I tell them simply, you know, write three lists. 
the first ideal situation for your retirement. If, you know, what kind of a location. A location is going to be key to your happiness. Is it going to be the beach? Is it going to be the mountains? Is it going to be in the province? Is it going to be X, Y, Z? Location. Boom, boom, boom. Okay? Three different locations. Makes you the happiest. Amenities. List all the amenities. Then, how much money you have available to spend on your retirement. Then, the most important part of this list is to fold those papers up, stick them in your back pocket, get on a damn airplane, get your ass over here, and look around. It doesn't matter how much we tell you. It doesn't matter how much somebody else's blog tells you. It doesn't matter how much 25 blogs tell you. Because you think you're gathering information by so many different people. No. Until you see it with yourself. With your own two eyes. Until you experience it. Until you get to form your opinion. Nobody's going to know. Absolutely nobody. And I find it incredibly difficult to understand why men don't understand that. Um, we run into guys like this often. Often. They want to come to Angelese for multiple reasons. Okay? Um, they want to come for the international airport. They want to come for the health care. They want to come for the restaurants. And they want to come for what it's synonymous with. And yet, after a month, I can hear them bitch, moan, groan, complain about, I didn't expect this, and I didn't think about that. And yet, they've essentially moved. They didn't come to the Philippines and look around. We do see successful men that have done that. We do see successful men that understand how the game is played. We do see that. But we see so many that don't. Now, when they are like this, you have to think, what the hell is going on. Are there that many men that simply don't think about it? Are there that many men that believe wholeheartedly that somebody like us even can give them a great opinion, informed idea as to what they can do when we don't even know that person? You know, there are great, don't get me wrong, there are great channels, and we're just such a micro channel, you know, we're nobody. We're, we're like the sweat on a gnat's ass. But there are great channels out there that cover many different parts of retiring here, and where and what, and travel and everything else. But they're not you. They're not you individually. And they're not going to show you what individually works for you. You know, they have no idea what type of abode you will live in or are willing to live in or can be comfortable in. They, they, they can't, you know, they can't read your mind. You know, YouTubers seem to either paint one or two pictures. Most of them paint this rosy, beautiful picture. Some of them paint a very ugly picture. There's no in-between. Well, you know why there's no in-between? Because they are one way or the other. And you're the in-between. You're the the the, the unknown in the equation. You know, trying to solve for X, that's you. 
it can be done. This is a, a equation that does not have an answer. The only way you're going to figure it out is to get on a plane, get your ass here, and figure it out. That's it. Come, travel around, don't commit yourself to anything, get it done that way. That's, that's what it really boils down to. If you think that you have gotten, if there's a channel, okay, that you think gives you every answer to every question, that they can tell you, you know what, this is exactly what it's going to cost for you to live, and here's five apartments in Panglao. And then here's the same thing in Tarlac. And here's the same thing in Angeles. And here's the same thing in Alangapo. And here's the same thing in Dumaguete. And here's the same thing here. One channel that can do all of that and then give you information on hospitals, on health care, on banking, on visa renewals on all of the different things that go along that. And then on, do I get a scooter? Do I get a car? How do I finance it? All of that. No, there's not. And so you go and look at all these different channels, you know, grabbing snippets and pieces from here and there. Sure. The only problem is, is it's not you. They're not going to cover everything for you. They're going to cover some of it. We're going to cover some of it. Others are going to cover some of it. But nobody's going to cover all of it. You've got to get here and take a look. And before you burn your bridge back home, until you make it irretrievable to live at home on a sustainable number, even if it's not the way you want to live, before you burn that, make sure you can do better here. Isn't that the whole thing? Don't you want to do better? Or at least equal? I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't go somewhere that I didn't feel happy, that I didn't feel content, that I didn't have a good life. And I recognize that everybody's needs and everybody's willingness to meet those needs and ability financially is different. Where do you fit in is where you decide. If you're happy to live in a cardboard box under a bridge, well, then you can find a lot of solutions for that here. If you want to live in a uh, high-rise condo, well, you can find plenty of solutions for that here also. If you want to live in a nice area in the countryside, in the province, well, you can find that here also. But until you get here and you look at those solutions, you've got no idea. You've got no idea what it's going to cost you to live within a 10-minute walk to the beach or a half an hour drive to the beach until you get here, until you experience it, until you recognize there's only one road between here and there, and it's consistently full of traffic. I should look at another place. These are little things that some people won't point out, but they may impact you directly. I'm just saying... You know something? Don't take for granted or don't take for positive influence everything that these bloggers tell you as being beautiful and rosy. It's not all like that. And there are sacrifices you will make on any point and place. Just like in the U.S., just like in Australia. Just like in the UK, there are sacrifices that you make. There will be the same thing here. You've got to get your ass over here, and you've got to explore it. Tell us what you think. Your comments. If we offended you, 
I apologize. Otherwise, have a great day.